gentlemen, I'm here with the infamous Tom Sinclair in VR 3D 180. No, 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 no. Am I supposed and to do that too? No, 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 not necessarily. No, 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 no. This is more for fun for me and him for the most part. Uh, I haven't done much interviews because I learned from CES that most people don't really watch the interviews. No, no. They want to see the products. So I am experimenting with this new VR rig um, that has a gimbal on it, a uh, monopod, easy to move around. Uh, and believe it or not, I'm having to stop more not at the booth, but people stopping me to check out the rig and, and ask about it. And including the officials from Canon who developed the lens asking me how I was using it and stuff like that and taking my contact. Oh, wow. So how cool is that? That is amazing. So, um, well, what what good is it with having oh, great oh, oh, oh. toys? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm the interviewee here, or interviewer. He's going to interview Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so this is Tom Sinclair. He is the head streaming idiot. He's been in the streaming world since 2012, 2011? 07. 20, 2007. Okay. 2007. I mean, we're talking about YouTube just launching, and they didn't even really have streaming. It was yet. the Flintstones. It was the Flintstones, you know, postage sides type video thing. It was. Uh, things have come a long way. A lot of it due to where we're at here. VMix really just was the game changer for live streaming. I think everybody else is finally catching up. But to me, VMix is the Swiss Army knife. Oh my God. To have on your laptop. For anything, if you got to do projections on the screen, if you want to do, sometimes they even do video conversion through VMix because nothing else would work. You can do it all. VMix is superb, and uh, not only that, but I love it the fact that it's a small company, so they make changes really quick. They don't have to go through a lot of corporate. And, and, uh, I don't know about the legal aspect. I thought I was the interviewee. I know, and I'm, I'm talking all about it. So, <laughs> Ashley, so you're, you've been in this business for quite a while, and you've stayed in this business. Yes. Uh, because of the content you provide, the information that people are looking for that's timely, plus the people that you interview have unique things, like man in the field type of information that we all learn from. And um, Yes. So streaming idiots, this is a famous plug. <laughs> Uh, well, check it out. But we've been working but, with... But he's Eastern Shore Broadcasting. Last month marks yeah. our 10-year anniversary of working with VMix. 10 years. 10 years I know, with I know. With, and uh, I love the fact that you found a way to sneak back into NAB without necessarily having to man a booth the entire time. <laughs> now you can walk around and check out some of the cool Just stuff. Just a regular person. That's exactly. Right. That's right. So um, what are you making of it so far? Um, NAB looks like a slimmed down version of what we experienced pre-COVID. It's true. You know, used to be. Well, not only that, they're, you had a they're nice missing one building. Name holder. You know? They're renovating this. They keep building this place up, yeah. and uh, like the whole north wing is, is pretty much kind of gone. Right. Well, and this one was gone two years ago. I know. Yeah. yeah. It just they just opened it up. Right. So, so we're back in the south lower hall. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but VMix, one of the things that impresses me about VMix is they have the ability to see three to five years down the road and anticipate what people will need. For example, come COVID, everybody discovered VMix Call yeah. as a way to communicate with remote guests. Right, with more control than you can get off of a But VMix Call right? had been in existence for two years prior to that. This is true. Uh, VMix Social was established eight or nine years ago, well, mm -hmm. seven or eight years ago, long before social media became this thing that we all use every every day, they saw it coming. Just recently, they have integrated Zoom callers into the vMix production. Oh, so they've got, they put the API built into it. To be Zoom, able to, they the worked, controls that you can do in Zoom, you yes. can do within vMix. You, you, they worked very closely with, with, with Zoom, uh -huh. and Zoom allowed them to get into the API to do some of that stuff. Okay. And so, boom. And that's going to continue to grow and grow and grow. They they have put in the AV1 codec, which only YouTube will accept at this point, and only certain capture cards will allow you to use, huh. like the 4000 series and greater in video cards. But it cuts the bandwidth needed to live stream in half. No, no kidding. No kidding. I saw AV1 on the latest release, and I had no idea what it was about. And and I probably didn't watch it. It's show. not just a sexy name. It's AV1. Yeah. I thought it was AVI. I thought, are we going back to AVI? <laughs> That's right. That's no, it's right. AV1. And don't tell anybody, but vMix now supports 8K. 
I heard that recently. 8K. If your computer can handle it. Your computer can't handle it. <laughs> you probably would have to get a camera like yours in order to, to do it, and there's only one capture well, card see, out there that will Once, once they can it. handle it, because I'm shooting 8K right now. Right. But I'm not live streaming it. And the biggest problem with it right now is because you can't do the, in this particular camera, for image quality wise, it can't, they call it equal rectangularized. Okay. So the side by side images. So it takes that round fish eye and squares it out so that you can see right eye, left eye. Sure. But I'm thinking that's the next step. I'm waiting for uh, VMix 28 VR. Hint, hint. <laughs> to help us with live streaming. You know, VR type of contest. So imagine a basketball game where you can decide, you can just sit there with your headset looking back and forth, but you're watching the live stream of it. Wow. So, I mean, think, that, think of that's the bandwidth. The <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, if we can handle, and it really, you're right. There have always been ahead of the times. They could probably develop the tools for it, but the bandwidth has got to be able to, uh, that exists. And the horsepower on the PC. Right. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then the AI built into it. Who knows? Yep. Yep. And then I've actually thought about, and if you've seen the Canon dual fish eye, which you're looking at right now, I'll show a picture in the video for whoever's watching the video. I've actually thought about putting it in like a mannequin's head and just sit it as a person sitting on a seat so they can't tell, and those would be the big bug eyes. That uh, So it could be like a man in the seat perspective of being in a stadium or something like that. I think people in China would like that. Yes, the they government. would. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we got here. We got to do this in the U.S. or Australia in this case. Australia. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're going to be doing a, a, a meet meet up here with the Streaming Idiots. Yep. Streaming Idiots is a group of us who do live streaming, and a lot of times we don't know what we're doing because we're idiots, but we tell each other what we did wrong so that the other people can learn from it. Uh, and he is the head streaming idiot. He's got. He's I'm gone live. He, go, he would go live and say, hey, I just got this. Let's test it out. Well, my computer's not handling it. We'll have to do this again next week when I can figure this out. That's right. That's happened. <laughs> so you are the king of that. But you know what? Also, content is king and content that's timely is timely. It may not. Yes. May, nobody may watch the one from three years ago, but. Um, but they still do. But it's if amazing. It's, if it's something back. that they're, somebody's interested in right now. And if you're in the VR world, especially in the VR content producing, the VR 180 in the Canon world, I'm the idiot. I mean, what am I calling it? A VR idiot? A veridian. A veridian. A veridian. A veridian. There a veridian. You, go. you got it. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this up because VR is expensive. So we've already probably used up maybe about 130, 150 gigabytes just recording this a little bit right here. So in order to preserve space and time, and give the people a, a bathroom break because we've been talking for so long. I want to thank you for all that you've done. We give you the coveted Invisible Idiot Award. Is an amazing. I know it's heavy, but uh, just put it on. Don't put it on a glass shelf because it might break. All right, let me take that from you. And, thank uh, you. I used to be a mime and I didn't know it. Okay, well, just keep it right there for now. So let's see it right around. Here it is where it is. And from NAB 2024 at the VMix booth for the Mainstream Media <laughs> Idiots Meetup on Sunday, the first day of NAB 2024. How's it going? I'm RJ Murdoch, this is Thompson Clear, and we are signing off. Oh, that's a Benny Hill one. I'm doing that. <laughs>